Every morning I go on a mile and a half hike just to uh, get my day started on the right foot. Before I was diagnosed, I lived a very healthy life. And then uh, suddenly I was spitting up a little bit of uh, blood. So I contacted my, my primary care physician and was ordered to uh, get to an emergency room right away. Sure enough, a CT scan uh, identified a mass in my left lung. They had diagnosed me with uh, stage four adenocarcinoma lung cancer. I was told that I had nine months to live without treatment, 18 months to live with treatment, and then I would begin a regimen of four to six uh, chemotherapy treatments uh, the following week. The CT scan after the fourth cycle showed that the uh, chemotherapy was not working. My, uh, my regional expert hospital referred me to Hopkins for an immuno trial, immunotherapy uh, clinical trial in hopes that I would have some uh, life-saving chance there. When I first met Mr. Ryan, he was hoping to get onto a clinical trial with immunotherapy. Immune therapy is any therapy that we use to manipulate your own immune system to attack the cancer. This particular trial was just for patients with metastatic lung cancer who had previous chemotherapy. I was uh, chosen to participate in the uh, in the uh, anti-PD-1 immunotherapy drug arm of the trial. I would have a uh, infusion every two weeks and a uh, CT scan every six weeks. After four cycles of immunotherapy, uh, my tumor had shrunk 65%. And in subsequent immunotherapy infusions, uh, my, my tumor shrank and I came to a nadir or a low point of an 82% shrink and I've remained at that stable condition uh, to date through uh, 71 infusions of uh, immunotherapy drugs. His disease actually responded beautifully to the immune therapy and it's, he's done well and the cancer has remained right, in, under control for a very long period of time for years. The more treatments I have uh, means the less likely that I would have disease progression. Clinical trials give people hope. You know, research really does give patients hope in the fact that we're hoping for improved quality of life, better survival, and we're still tr trying to really strive for a cure. Having access to immunotherapy is truly a, a, a game changer, a lifesaver. I am grateful beyond all measure for what she has accomplished and what she has made available to uh, patients with uh, uh, terminal disease. But the, the, the greater thinking is that if, if a patient can, can endure two years of immunotherapy, the likelihood is they'll die of something other than that cancer, which from somebody on the pointy end of the spear is exceedingly good news and an exceedingly a rich source of hope.